start off the week. Here's a live picture right now from POE's Coronado looking at the gorgeous downtown skyline. The skies are clear, which is another reason why we're actually waking up a lot colder. 45 degrees right now in downtown. Most of us for the coast and inland neighborhoods are waking up in the 40s this morning. The more east you travel, that's where it starts to get frigid. 30 degrees right now in Ramona and Julian, 34 in Warner Springs, and we are in the 20s in Palomar Mountain. Surprisingly, though, this comparison, this is a 24 hour temperature change. We're actually warmer than yesterday, and the reason for that is because of the wind. So we have that north northeasterly flow that allows that air to mix so it doesn't make that cold air very stagnant, which is why some of us are a little warmer than yesterday. Those wind sheltered areas, though, however, are still waking up very cold. So as we fast forward to about 11 AM, we'll really start to see those Santa Ana's pick up. We're talking about gusts exceeding anywhere from 30 upwards of 35, 40 miles per hour. In and that's just for the coast and inland valleys. The more east you travel, those winds really start to see that kick anywhere from 30 upwards of 60 miles per hour. That's going to be the case for Monday and then tomorrow. Most of those Santa Ana conditions should weekend. This afternoon will be comparable to what we saw over the weekend. Plenty of sunshine and will still trend 5 to 10 degrees below average. The coastal areas will be in the low 60s as well as the inland valleys. That's about a 5 to 10 degree difference than what we should normally see for this time of the year. So as I mentioned, low 60s across the board for the mountain areas will be in the mid 40s later on today. Coastal areas as uh, keep in mind, we still have that king tide event peaking around 9 10 o'clock this morning, and then those waves will subside or the tides I should say will subside as we uh, look ahead to the rest of the week. So it looks like the peak king tide activity will happen today, and then we'll see uh, again not as significant high tides as we uh, finish the rest of your week. We'll be in the low 60s for the first half of the week, so it looks like the first half of the week will be fairly mild and then looking to have uh, looking ahead to the second half beginning Wednesday. That's when things start to warm up and will be closer to average. So the inland areas beginning on Wednesday will be in the mid to upper 60s. But notice those overnight lows. We will still remain pretty frigid for your mornings and evenings. So that will uh, likely result into a frosty morning, especially for those wind sheltered areas. Desert highs this afternoon will be in the mid 60s. We're dealing with those gusty winds, calmer Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we'll have those Santa Ana's pick back up again beginning Thursday. All right, 516. Good morning, Mark. Let's see what's happening on your roadways. How's it going out there? Good morning, Vanessa, and happy Monday to you and everyone watching at this early hour. Your freeways are looking great. No incidents, crashes, or delays out there on the countywide freeways. So if you're getting up right now, hit the road as soon as you can, and you'll soak some of this up. Interstate 8 over under the 805 rather everything full freeway speeds likewise in escondido this is how it looks all around the county i'll let you know if any of that changes i'm chp officer mark latulip with your 10 news time save your traffic hey that new better job